You can start by creating an image that you would like to replicate using lithography. You then can copy your image onto a pronto plate using Sharpie markers, lithography crayons, china markers, and anything that is waterproof. To avoid getting oil from your fingers onto the plate, use a piece of paper while you are drawing under your hand to prevent any smudges from getting onto the plate. You can run the paper through selective printers if you would like to print your image instead of drawing on it. In order to draw easier onto your pronto plate by copying an image from a sketchbook, you can use a light box to help you copy the image. If you draw directly onto your pronto plate using markers or pens, you want to heat up your plate either using a heating table or a hair dryer. If you use a hair dryer, go over it for about 3-5 to five minutes until the plate is heated. Make sure not to burn the plate or put the hair dryer too close to prevent ruining the plate. When you are done printing or drawing your image onto your pronto plate, be sure to store it between newsprint paper while traveling to avoid getting fingerprints on it. You can cut down your printing paper and your newsprint paper by using a ruler. To rip the paper using the ruler, you want to put the ruler across the paper, hold it nice and tight, and grab the corner of the paper and pull it directly towards you. Do not move your hand and press firmly down to avoid shifting the ruler and ruining the paper. You want the printing paper to be smaller than the pronto plate and you want the newsprint paper to be bigger than the paper and the pronto plate. Get a clean bowl and a clean sponge and put a little bit of water in it, then add a tiny bit of gum arabic to it and mix it using the sponge. For this process, you want to use oil-based inks instead of water-based inks. If the ink is too thick, you can mix it with a Sudswell compound in order to loosen it up. Be sure to mix in the two really well together until you can no longer see the Sudswell compound. Once you have mixed the two together well, you can lay a thin line across the sides of your brayer and begin to roll it out into a square. Make sure that the square is evenly spread and not too thick. If it's too thick, you can remove some of the ink and begin to roll over again to thin it out. Next, lay some gum arabic down onto your printing table. Use your sponge to mix around the gum arabic and make a thin layer on the table. Place your pronto plate on top and press down using the sponge to make it stick to the table. Add some of the water mixture to make sure it won't move when printing. Make sure to pick up all excess water using the sponge to make sure that it's not too wet during printing process. Begin inking up your plate using the brayer. Between each time that you ink up your plate, you want to get your sponge a little bit wet and rub over the plate to remove any of the excess dry ink and to also keep the plate damp. Do not use too much water and if there is extra water, pick it up with the sponge. Apply ink multiple times to your pronto plate to make sure it has a nice thick coat on it so it prints nice and dark on your paper. If ink begins to stick to your pronto plate, it means it is getting too dry and you need to add more water to it. You can pick up any extra smudges using the sponge. Once you are done inking up your pronto plate, wipe the plate one more time using the sponge and remove all the items from the table. Before you print on to your nice printing paper, you want to make a proof of your image onto newsprint paper. Grab six pieces of newsprint paper and lay one down as your paper. Add four more for the thickness of your paper and then the last one for your backer. Next, place a printing board on top 
Remove the other papers and press down tight onto the printing board and begin to roll it through the printer. If the image comes out the way you want it, you can begin to move on to printing onto your regular paper. If your plate begins to come off of the printing table, you can press it back down using the water mixture to make it stick to the table again. Ink up your plate about three to four times again between each print. Make sure that you are sponging between every time that you apply ink onto your pronto plate. When you have finished inking up your plate, remove the other items from the table and grab the paper that you are going to use for your first print. Line up the edge of your paper to the edge of the image on the pronto plate. You have your paper where you want it, lay a piece of newsprint paper over it and the printing board on top of that. Press down and roll through the printer. Place your print on a drying rack to dry. The best way to remove the ink from your hands is to use dishwashing soap. Regular soap will not move the ink as easily because the ink is oil based. Before cleanup, get some heavy duty gloves and a strong detergent cleaner from one of the flammable cases in the classroom. To clean up, scrape all the excess ink off your slab using the scraper and put it onto a phone book. Apply some of the detergent cleaner onto the slab. And use your brayer to rub it in. Take a rag and clean off your brayer. Make sure you get every single side of the brayer, including the edges. Clean both your scraper knives using the strong detergent cleaner. Make sure that all the edges are clean. If necessary, you may need to add more of the strong detergent cleaner onto your slab to clean up the ink better. Use your rags to remove the rest of the ink off the slab. Be sure to clamp the ink that got onto the table too. Remove your pronto plate from the printing table and use the detergent cleaner to clean up the excess ink on the table. Once you have finished cleaning up, dispose of all the rags that you used the detergent with into a fire resistant waste basket. Put the gloves and the detergent back into the anti flammable cases. Put the briar and the scraper knife back where they belong. Clean the gum arabic mixture out of the bowl. Clean the sponge that you use with dishwashing soap. Clean up all of your paper materials, including your printer plates and sketchbook. Put them all in your filing cabinet. Leave all your prints on the drying rack until they have completely dried. Once they have completely dried, you can cut them down and sign the back of them. 
So in doing the Lafayette Group project, I found that I really enjoyed the versatility of the medium because you could just print out an image or you could hand draw it if you wanted. Um, there was also, you could layer the uh, layer up your colors and come up with different colors. Uh, I found that the more that I moved up on plate, it sort of started to deteriorate. You could only get so many prints out of it. That was one thing I just really didn't enjoy. Also, uh, the registration had to be spot on, otherwise it could, it, it could easily, uh, your colors could be off. For although I really enjoyed the process, and I think it's a process that I'll experiment more with.